Project Zomboid to me is like the ultimate vibe check. You do something dumb and you face the consequences about as fast as a bat swinging right at your head. So today I thought it'd be fun to cover some common mistakes that will usually end up terribly for your character in Project Zomboid. Hopefully saying them here can prepare you for the future. But even then, I find myself doing like half of these on a regular basis. Anyways, let's get started. This one gets just about everyone at least once. And you're probably lying if you say otherwise. But let's say you made some fine cuisine. And in the middle of warming up your little science project, you forget about it and get sidetracked with something else. After finishing up that task, you come back to a pile of ashes and roaring flames. Losing your home, all of your possessions, and more than likely, bringing a horde right to your front door. Son of a bitch! When the door doesn't work, the next best thing is that window. Let's show it who's boss, smash it, and enter discreetly inside. Wait, why am I bleeding? Oh god, I'm bleeding! You're in the middle of town on an easy in and out looting run. So far, it's going great and you have a lot of supplies. And while you continue to move forward, your finger accidentally slips from the W key to the Q key, making your character shout, attracting a good amount of zombies in the area. I think it's time to skedaddle. You just got a brand new vehicle in peak condition. Thankfully, it was found right before it got dark. Not wanting to waste any more time, you drive to your base. Park that bad boy in the driveway and get yourself some well-deserved rest. But when you decide to go out for another looting run, the car won't start. Uh, turns out leaving the headlights on drained the entire car's battery. Uh, I guess we're walking. It has currently hit the fan. You triggered an alarm, and now the entire town is on your butt cheeks. You decide to hop a fence, thinking it's your next best course of action. The only problem was that there's actually a horde on the other side. Yikes. Better luck next time. Uh, this house seems safe enough. It's both quiet on the outside and inside. The door was also unlocked, so it seems like an easy looting target. You start going through the house, decide to check the bathroom, and... Bam! Five zombies on you like no tomorrow. Even when things seem safe, it doesn't hurt to knock. You have your hands full of the best of loot. Food, tools, and weapons for days. I mean, three bags worth of goods is fantastic. All we need to do now is lose this horde right behind you. And what better way than this fence here? Haha, <laughs> that was a cinch. Wait, where are the bags? Yeah, it turns out you need your hands to, you know, fully climb fences, and you just dropped your bags with the horde. You don't have a bag yet, so managing your weight to be unburdened should be your number one priority. But having a good stockpile of non-perishables might be nice as well, especially if we strand ourselves out in the middle of nowhere later down the line. And we definitely should not slack on water as well. Ah, bucket should do. What if we also need tools, so let's just bring this just in case we might need to do some on-the-fly carpentry. Uh, yeah, this is fine. Everything is okay. We are okay. We are not okay. Ah, I guess we got a sledgehammer. You did. Time to finally secure your home once and for all. Let's see these undead idiots try to fly. <laughs> Ah, ah wh where did I, where's the sheet rope? Oh no, oh no, 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 no! It's been a pretty long day, but there's still about two hours of daylight more or less, and there's only one more home to loot in the neighborhood. Surely we could just power through this multitude of moodles. I mean, what could go wrong? <sighs> just take me, God. Nothing like making some primo cuisine on a Sunday evening. And might I say, you knocked it out of the park with this one. Time to chuck her in the oven and have a fine meal in 30 minutes. Gonna be feasting like a king after this life and living show. I guess it couldn't be that bad. Right? Right. Surely not.
You need a water container, and it just so happens that there's some bleach here. Now we get to do what all of the cool kids do and use this ultimate container for your quenchy needs. All we gotta do is pour out the poison- Oh, no, 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 no! Abort, abort, abort! Ah. Uh, yeah, we should be fine. Uh, we only drank a si I can't believe we were able to find a generator, especially after the power grid went out. It should be fine indoors inside this garage, right? We wouldn't want it to get damaged by rain. I'm sure if we open this garage door, everything should be all right. Uh, does it kind of feel funny in here or is it uh, just me? Alrighty. We found a pretty good candidate for a car. So let's check out the meat and potatoes of this bad boy to see if it's all good. It's not half bad. I wonder what kind of wheels this bad boy is repping. And is that gas as well? Ah, speed demon. A real blessing to be had. I mean, getting to my destination one minute faster is absolutely life changing. All you have to do is follow the road going 120 miles an hour. Only the unskilled crap. <laughs> I can't feel my legs. Ah, this bad boy has been with me through thick and thin. Surely this can get us to the next looting run. I mean, the engine durability isn't at zero, so that's something, right? Right? Yeah. Uh... Anyways, that's a few mistakes that I could think of that are pretty common in your average Project Zomboid game. I thought this would be a fun little video to do, and I hope you all have really enjoyed. I definitely had a lot of fun making it. Tell me what mistake you would have included in the comments down below. Be sure to share and subscribe for more. Peace out, everyone.